We put this particular case along with four light bulbs protected inside through a series of extreme tests. We dropped it off our roof, threw it off a bridge, heaved it off a moving vehicle going 40 miles an hour, and it had to navigate the mighty and scenic Rogue River here in beautiful southern Oregon. Why? Well, for several reasons. For one, we wanted to see how the rotor mold case would hold up in the extreme test. And two, if the case could protect the light bulbs inside. So how did these cases fare? See for yourself. We're going to throw this case off this bridge. We've got four light bulbs. The main idea of this test is that the case and the light bulbs inside could survive a drop off the footbridge of more than 50 feet. One, two, Beautiful. Aha, we did it. Let's check it out. Here we go. Anticipation was building as we pulled the case back from the river. We wanted to show how well the case handled the drop into the river below and how well it protected the light bulbs inside. One. Two, three, last but not least, number four. The case was intact. The light bulbs inside are not broken. After a drop of more than 50 feet, the case passed with flying colors. This test was a success. Woo! For this test, we originally planned on having the case fall off the tailgate of a truck. Clearly, this was not extreme enough for us, so we upped the ante. Number two, here we go. We're going to have this. Uh, this case, we the back end of this uh, bed. The truck is running, it's getting ready to go. Okay, let's do it. We pushed the case out of the back of the speeding truck several times. Each time we nearly hit 40 miles an hour, and each time the case hit the asphalt hard. At one point, nearly skidding the length of a football field. In the end, the only damage was a minor road rash. One. Four. That's four for four. We're batting a thousand. The mighty Rogue River here in Southern Oregon provides us with our next extreme test. The test not only included surviving the rapids and fast moving water, but multiple plunges. In the end, the light bulbs are in pristine condition. This case. Of course, we wanted one more test to prove our case. Our final test was throwing the case off the highest point at our facility, about 30 feet. The case not only handled the 40 foot drop, but also protected the fragile light bulbs inside. Our cases can protect anything, even fragile light bulbs put through extreme tests. Imagine what they can do for your equipment.